Hey kids, today we're going to talk about Naaman. He was commander of a powerful army. Naaman met a young girl with no name, and she's the real hero of the story. Get ready! Naaman was this great warrior commander dude who would go attack other countries and take all their stuff. He wasn't a nice guy. He even attacked God's people and took them back as slaves to his own country. Now, I don't know about you, but I would not be a fan of Naaman if he kidnapped me and made me his slave. And that's exactly what he did to the girl with no name. One more thing about Naaman. He was a leopard. No, not a leopard, a leper. It's a disease. Ever heard of it? Well, it's nasty to look at and it's real painful. So even though Naaman was successful, he had a lot of pain. People probably stared at him and made fun of him for how he looked. So here's where the story gets interesting. One day, the girl said to her mistress, I wish my master would go see the prophet. He would heal him of his leprosy. What? Did you catch that? The girl with no name wanted to help Naaman. The guy who just came in and took over her town? The guy who took her stuff and kidnapped her? She wanted to help that guy? Can you believe it? Do you ever want to be kind or helpful to someone who's mean to you? Me neither. But that's why this girl is the real hero of the story. We don't even know her name. But she's famous for what she did. She chose to show kindness to someone who wasn't kind to her. That's what our memory verse is all about. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to get angry, and filled with unfailing love. And that's exactly how little Penelope acted. We decided she deserved a name. She showed compassion to a guy who didn't deserve it. Do you know what compassion means? It means to be tender-hearted to someone and see things from their point of view. So instead of hating Naaman and being mean to him, Penelope chose to see things from his point of view. Because maybe the reason he was so mean is because how he looked. Now, our key question for today is this. How can kids show compassion? Well, there are two ways. One, put yourself in the mean person's shoes. Maybe they're sad on the inside and that makes them act the way they do. And two, be kind. Be an example of what a good friend should look like. You never know how your kindness could change the other person. Naaman was sure changed. Okay, so now let's finish the story. Naaman was healed, and he learned who the real God is, all because of a little girl with no name, named Penelope. Penelope.